Hi friends and welcome back to the control engineering gig. In this video we're gonna learn to how to find the time specifications for high order transfer functions using MATLAB. Without, before jumping to the MATLAB code, let's see what are the time specifications for uh, given transfer functions. So we have a typical unit step response uh, for a system and we want to define the time specifications for this uh, unit step response. We start with the raising time, T sub R. Raising time is the time required for the waveform to go from 0.1 or 10% of the final value to 90% or 0.9 of the final value or the final steady state value of the uh, that signal or or that uh, response so if this is the final uh, value of the system then we take 10 percent of the <coughs> response of the system and 90 percent of the final value and the time that the signal takes to go from this point from 10 percent to 90 percent of the final value of the system okay that time is called the rising time or t sub r okay let's see what does the peak time mean peak time is the maximum time uh, or the time maximum uh, value uh, of the system or the time uh, the system takes to have its its maximum value so the time required to reach the first or maximum peak it's not first it's the maximum peak so this is the uh, maximum peak in the system so this is y max so this time from zero to this point this is called the peak time let's jump to the, the third one this is a percentage of a shoot this is not specified in seconds or a time uh, unit. Uh, it is uh, defined as the, um, the amount that the waveform overshoots the final value or the steady value uh, at the peak time. And this value or this uh, quantity is expre expressed as a percentage of the steady state value. So it is in term of this value. So in other words, the value here from the steady state is let's take this is the steady state value of system so this the percentage of this distance to the percentage of this distance this is the overshoot uh, percentage of the system let's jump to the final time specific which is the settling time t sub s uh, the settling time it is the time that required for the transient damped oscillations to reach 2%, 2% of the steady state value. Some reference gives 5% uh, and some takes 2%. So it, it's, uh, it's a matter of the value of the final value of the steady state, whether it's 2% or final, 5%, but the definition is the same. So... As we saw, this is this, this will be the final value of the signal, and this will be two percent of this value uh, above the value, two percent be, be, uh, below the value. So as you see, at this time, this time here, the signal remains in between plus two and min plus minus two of the final value. So this time from zero to this value here is called the settling time. So we have four specification, uh, time specification that we need to know how to uh, find giving the transfer function using MATLAB. Okay, let's jump into the, our example. We have this example, it's a fourth order system. Uh, it's very difficult to find uh, analytical expression uh, we have an analytical expression for first and second order. We can use the second order specification for third order under some assumptions, but uh, behind the third order, we need to use the MATLAB and the definition to find uh, this, these specific points. So let's jump to the MATLAB code here. 
okay let's uh, open a new script okay and start our uh, call so let's start with uh, the command clear all so we can clear up the memory uh, close all figures and uh, clean the screen okay as we remember the we have to write the nominator and dominator of the system so let's start with the nominator it is a second order system so it starts with 6 18 and 12 the dominator it starts with uh, 1 6 11 18 and 12 close the bracket okay uh, let's find out uh, or define some time domain okay sorry uh, time domain that starts from 0 with an increment of 0.02 to let's say uh, 20 okay and let's use the step command in MATLAB using the nominator dominator and our time domain we need to subtract the values of the response uh, <coughs> and x and our uh, time domain as well so we simply can plot this uh, result so let's plot this result select all f9 okay we have the step response okay let's jump to our specific uh, time time specifics so finding the uh, rising time t sub r okay uh, let's uh, define a variable to r1 give some initial value to this variable use the while loop okay while y of r1 is less than 10 percent i'm using uh, 10 percent here because i know my uh, oh, let's check the plot again Okay, uh, the plot it ends up at one. So I'm using uh, I know my final value is one. For that I'm not multiplied by the final value because it is one. So uh, while y of r is less than point one, let's uh, update the r one equals one. And okay, let's copy this. okay let's r2 equal r2 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 this should be less than 90 percent of the system so we can write the raise time uh, equal to uh, the difference between r2 and r1 multiply uh, by the time increments we used in the system so time increment we used for the time domain here so if we find it compute this so it will be 0.8 uh, 58 seconds okay let's go and find uh, the peak time tp okay this is simply is the maximum let's open a square bracket y max and t sub p equals uh, to max of the y this y is computed from the step here so uh, simply we can write uh, the peak time equals to uh whatever we got in tp or let okay say peak time 
equals TP minus one because we are starting with the zero from zero. So it is 1001 uh, steps in T in time. And of course, we need to multiply this by the uh, time increment. So let's compute this. So the peak time is 1.68 a second. Okay. Let's find the over per and over shoot. Percent over shoot. So the overshoot equals to this y max we already got here y max uh, minus one y minus one because one is uh, our final value and of course we need to multiply this by 100 so it can be in percentage so this is like a 62 percentage overshoot which is, is big it's not small and the final specification is find, uh, find the settling time T sub S. Okay. Um, if you uh, observe that the, the variable T here, the variable T has 1001. Uh, values so it has 1001 increment in it so if we use this one here as our initial for s uh, for any variable I, uh, I used s but we can use like e here and we can use the while loop one more time uh, while y of e sorry e is greater than 0.9 percent and uh, y of e is uh, less than 1.02 which is 2 percent then we can uh, update our loop here e, e minus 1 and so we can write the settling time equals to s whatever is s is minus one multiplied by the time increment we can compute this as well oh what's s yeah we need to update this guy here um so the the settling time it's around 10 seconds so this is how we uh, compute the specific times using MATLAB for high order system than uh, the, the third order system uh, we can use this simple MATLAB code for the computation of time specification I hope this tutorial was useful for you